Welcome back to Rescue Bots Academy Season 2. Today we're taking a look at Episode 15, Museum Mystery. In this episode, Whirl and Chase go up against some old villains from the original Rescue Bots, High Tech Thieves and Brothers in Crime, Miles and Evan. Now wait a minute you might say, doesn't the title in the actual episode say Mystery Museum? Well, after looking into it a little bit, I think this might be an error. That's what the wiki seems to believe and I'm inclined to agree with them. After all, Mystery Museum doesn't really make sense because this isn't a museum about mystery, it's a mystery at a museum. So I think Museum Mystery is the correct title. And that is what it's called on Netflix. I like that this is yet another world-centric episode where she gets to use her detective skills, this time with her mentor Chase. It's interesting that the brothers had the RescueBots logo on their tablet. Hmm. And they also have a drawing of Hoist and Whirl on their wall? And the Cybertronian writing on it says Hearts of Cybertron. Could this be some kind of reference to the Heart of Cybertron from the G1 episode Microbots? There does seem to be a star-like shape between them that looks like the Heart of Cybertron, but I'm starting to wonder if it's more likely that one of these brothers is shipping Hoist and Whirl. What's more, when we get a look at Chase's tablet earlier in the episode, there are some questionable text and pictures on it. There's a picture of Optimus holding Hotshot with the caption Hotmus. And there's a picture of Bumblebee and Wedge with the title Bum Wedge. Which, for one thing, that's a terrible ship name. That just makes me think of an underwear wedgie. And two, what have you been searching, Chase? Have you been browsing some RescueBots fan fiction websites? Good night, you guys. Hey, Snake, what say we wash some of that road dust off your lip? Why are they smashing their mouths together? I love that they bring back Doc Green, also from the original series. So it turns out the nanotech sculpture created by Doc Green had basically melted due to the lightning strike, but he was able to fix it. And Evan and Miles weren't involved at all, but it makes me wonder, why were they also working on this purple nanoparticle goo? And where did they get the money for their lab? They never explained this, although I think they easily could have by simply saying that the brothers were working for Dr. Green, who provided the lab equipment and the nanoparticles and the goal for them to work towards. But unfortunately, they just kind of leave those loose ends open. Oh well, this was still a fun episode. What about you? What did you think of Museum Mystery? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and do all that other fun stuff. And join me next time when we'll be checking out Season 2, Episode 16, Partners. See you then!